This sentence about French colonial interests in Northern Africa involves an assumption. Just before the underlined section, we have because they assumed that, and then the underlined section is the assumption. So here we need to know a little about the subjunctive, the subjunctive mood, which is used for conditionals. It is, if we're choosing between they assumed X is true and they assumed X would be true, this one is incorrect. This does not use the subjunctive. This one is correct. It should properly use the subjective, subjunctive to be a proper conditional. Now, all this language about conditionals and subjunctives is completely foreign to you. I urge you to check out Magoosh. First of all, on the free Magoosh blog, you'll find a blog post I wrote about the subjunctive, which you may find helpful. And if you sign up for Magoosh, we have over 200 video lessons that will give you all the grammar that you need for sentence correction. In fact, it gives you all the content you need for all the questions on the GMAT. We have a long section about grammar videos and we'll certainly teach you about how to do the conditional and how to use the subjunctive. So scanning through the answer choices, we find the correct use of subjunctive would, could, would. Those are correct uses of the subjunctive. In A, we have was always insecure. That, that's awkward and that's the wrong verb tense. So that's just out. Was not ever. So that's also out. So we've eliminated A and C. Without it, their grip would never be secure. That is reasonably direct and clear. Answer choice D, without that, the that is a little bit strange, and they could never be secure about it. This is a strange, indirect way to word it, so D is going to be out. E, never would their grip be secure if they did not hold it. Well, first of all, the it, we have no idea what the it is referring to here. Is the it referring to Algeria, or is the it referring to Morocco? And also, they never would their grip be secure. This is just an incredibly awkward, wordy, indirect way of saying it. And that leaves us with answer choice B. Answer choice B is direct, unambiguous, perfectly clear. It is a sleek, elegant answer, and it is by far the best answer choice.